pandemics during this covid era students are not coming to the colleges especially in science faculty teaching is complete when your theory lectures are supported with practicals but since students are not allowed to come in the college due to pandemic situation it is very difficult to arrange practical for students in such a case it is possible to arrange practical sessions for students using online resources virtual labs that is available for you it is an uh, mhrd uh, initiative that is ministry of human resource development under the national mission of education through ict has developed number of virtual labs for engineering as well as for science students virtual lab project is an initiative of ministry of human resource development government of india under the aegis of national mission on education through information and communication technology that is n e n m e i c t this project is consortium activity of 12 participating institutes and iit delhi is coordinating institute these virtual labs can be used for online laboratory by the faculty science faculty it is available these virtual labs are available for engineering uh, students as well as for science students for science students from uh, bsc physics msc physics chemistry uh, biology subjects microbiology subjects amrita university or amrita vidyapitam act as a nodal center and these virtual labs for science students are available on amrita uh, viswavidyapit website so this is what what are objectives of this uh, virtual lab objectives of this virtual lab are to provide remote ac- access to labs in various disciplines of science and engineering these virtual labs would cater to students at the undergraduate level post graduate level as well as to research scholars second objective is to enthuse students to conduct experiments by arousing their curiosity this would help them in learning basic and advanced concepts through remote experimentation third objective is to provide a complete learning management system around the virtual lab where the students can avail the various tools for learning including additional web, web resources video lectures animated demonstrations and self evaluation to share costly equipment and resources which are otherwise available to limited number of users due to constraints on time and geographical distances so these are some objectives of virtual labs for science students you can go directly to amrita virtual lab so this is website of amrita virtual lab the lab.amrita.edu it is also called value at amrita now your college can register with amrita vidyapitam as a nodal center the procedure it is explained in the website so you can register once you get permission as a nodal center teachers from science faculty as well as students from science faculty can be registered on this uh, amrita vidyapit website then st- science teachers and students will get passwords user id and passwords and using that user id and password you can access these virtual laboratories on amrita vidyapitam these laboratories virtual labs are available biotechnology and biomedical engineering so bsc zoology bsc botany microbiology students and teachers can use this virtual lab for chemical sciences for physical sciences for computer sciences mechanical engineering and cyber security these virtual labs are available on amrita virtual lab or value at amrita now we will go to v lab 
of Amrita, virtual app of Amrita. So I will open website. Now this is website of Amrita Vidya Bitam uh, and value at Amrita. This is uh, logo for uh, that laboratory, virtual laboratory. Now here you can apply for nodal center program. Once you apply for nodal center program, you can register your teachers and students. They will get login ID as well as password. So here, once you get login ID and password, you can log in. If you are teacher, you can log in as a teacher. So here. Now, once you log in, uh, your name will appear here and you are logged in as a nodal faculty. If you are student, here you will get logged as a student. For nodal faculty, uh, here dashboard is available. In this dashboard, you can, uh, as instructor, you can manage groups means uh, uh, you can make groups and manage that groups you can manage students so you can manage students if you click here first you have to add students now you have to add students who have login id and password from uh, value at amrita now you can assign question papers to them here you can assign question papers you can have assignment reports also assignment reports of uh, your group so you have to first assign group now if students are using uh, virtual lab then you will get LMS attendance report so here from date to date you can uh, uh, take report uh, LMS attendance report suppose I take here uh, you can take old report also So suppose I go to February and from 1 February 19, 2019 to 28 February 2019, I will get, if I submit, I will get a report. Now, if you take any date. Suppose 8 February 19. If I click here, I will get here attendance report of the students. Login time, login status, username, and you have to identify your students according to their usernames. Even uh, login IP address is also available here. So in this way, you can use learning management system uh, for this virtual lab. Now. Now if you go to home and now you can go to any laboratory suppose I go to physical sciences in physical sciences electricity and magnetism virtual lab is available in which experiment on tangent galvanometer and so on these are experiments available in electricity and magnetism lab if you go to heat and thermodynamics virtual lab these are experiments available for students and faculty. Harmonic motion and waves virtual lab, modern physics virtual lab, Frank Hertz experiment uh, and uh, other experiments are available. This is laser optics virtual lab, mechanics virtual lab, electric circuit virtual lab, advanced mechanics virtual lab, uh, optics virtual lab, solid state physics virtual lab, uh, they are available. And online questionnaire for nodal center that is available. Suppose we go to optics virtual lab here i have an experiment for angle of prism using spec spectrometer in uh, savitri bai phule pune university this experiment is available for first year science so here theory corresponding to that experiment is given now procedure to perform virtual experiment it is also explained here Procedure is explained here uh, with uh, observation tables, formulas 
and result as well. Then self evaluation is available here so students can evaluate themselves. Students can give feedback here and simulator is available here. Here students have to perform actual experiment. So here prism spectrometer experiment is available here. Now first you have to focus the telescope. So using this filter, then focus, you focus it properly, the start button will be activated. So I am focusing it. So here now it is activated. So start. Now uh, here first you have to switch on the light. This is a view which we see in the telescope. And here we get uh, light from the slit. So you have to focus that. So you can focus it properly. You can change slit width also. Here you can change slit width. You can increase or decrease slit width. So take proper slit width. And then place prism. So here prism is placed. Since I am taking uh, experiment on uh, uh, angle of prism. So that's why I have placed prism like this. Now, uh, you can maximize this. Now, see here, if you go to this window, here you will get measurement window. So, you can see that scale here. So, you can take reading of angle in this window as well as you can take reading of angle in this window. So, properly adjust and take reading. So, to take reading on one side, move telescope here and move telescope in such a way that we get slit in the telescope. So here in the view, we see this slit. Now here there is arrangement for fine adjustment. For actual uh, telescopes, we have here screw. So using that screw, you can arrange properly uh, that so you can arrange slit properly on the vertical cross wire so arrange it properly using this now take reading in first window as well as second window then move telescope on this side move in such a way that we get telescope properly arranged and we get slit on the cross wire. So if it is not on the cross wire, you can adjust it using these screws. Okay, and now take reading here. Now use these readings in your observation table and you can find angle of prism. So in this way, you can arrange online practicals for the students. One student has user ID, he can perform this experiment and he can give feedback also. And you will get attendance of that also. So student can give feedback here about the experiment, about his understanding, about the experiment and so on. And he has to submit uh, that feedback to the Amrita Bhatti, uh, Amrita Vidyapitha. So in this way, you can use Amrita Virtual Lab for science experiments. Now, such a type of science experiments are available in chemical sciences. If you go to chemical sciences, we have physical chemistry virtual lab, organic chemistry virtual lab and number of experiments in this one. So in this way, it is easy for you to take online experiments for students using these virtual labs. So in this pandemic period, it is easy for you to perform online experiments. If you like my video, I request you to subscribe my channel, PS2 AG Media, 
as well as press like button. If you subscribe my channel, you will get notification about the new video that I am going to upload on YouTube website about online learning. So thank you very much. Thanks again.